watch the fight, he's going to make, make what I do, make or break what I'm going to do for the fight. He may do something to flip the whole, my whole way of wanting to come fight it and flip it all the way around. And I come with a different game because that's where the training camp is about, being able to adjust to different things. So I'm willing to uh, see what he brings to the table. Different than being shaped, I'm not under overestimating him or uh, looking down on him. Just really just in my mind frame right now is just uh, just some shape. And, and I'm gonna be definitely prepared that night to do whatever it takes to, uh, to get that victory. Obviously, coming off that fight, as is already known, it's one of the candidates for the best fights of the year. Um, got you a lot of recognition. And now, currently, is one of the, the the thoughts, the names that pops into you know people's mind, and when the next fight is going to be made. Uh, your fight is coming up January 28th, and after that, I mean, there's there's uh, there's Canelo Alvarez, you know, Colby Marbury just got their fight done. Uh, so, you know, Kirkland is one of those names that you threw out there, and uh, as we know. Canelo, after his last bout, uh, he said he called out Mayweather. Now a lot of people, a lot of speculation, saying, "Well, hey, hold your horses. You know, you still need to green, my friend. You know, and I don't think you're ready for that yet. Would you like to take up, you know, a fight like that against see, Canelo?" See, that's, that's our whole game plan. That, that's why it was called the Eliminator. He has a world title. Me and Fredo and Google fought for the number one spot to be able to fight him. Right. You know, it wasn't no. Uh, I fight Fredo and Gulo and then put Kirk on the standby and put me on hold. We fight Fredo and Gulo for Kirk to get that number one shot to fight Fredo and Gulo. Uh, Come on, Robert. You know, so uh, now it's some totally different. You know, so y'all do the math. You know, there's no, no scientists have to put it out there. You just look at what's in front of you and what, what people say and what, what's, uh, what the facts are. The facts is that uh, Canelo Alvarez, he's, he's doing one thing and I'm doing another. I want what's supposed to be in front of me to take, and they put it behind me. So, I just, you know, all I say is, uh, anyone who's the world champion right now, I'm going to take on. Uh, I keep, uh, keep stressing the fact that uh, I want this. You know, not, not, I just don't fight. Right. Not for the money tip, you know. It's a blessing with the money side, but as far as when it comes down, it really wants to fight. It really wants to prove and show people that uh, I want to be number one champion in 154 weight class. That's what I want. For many other names, if you don't get Canelo Alvarez yet, who, who's another fighter you have in your spectrum and your radar? We're looking at a lot of them. You know, we got Cornelius Bunch. We call K9. Got another one, Cole. We just came off of a great victory. Boy, man. There's a lot of there's a lot of new stars. A lot of people do, I mean, got got titles, man. And I just want the champs. You know? I mean, I just want that guy that's been in that position to have that title for so long and be able to fight him. That's what I'm trying to push him. Sounds good, Kirkland. Thank you. Congratulations on your last bout. We look forward to seeing you in the ring again. And, and you know, best, best of luck for you. Thank you. Thank you.